Welcome back to the 5-Minute Podcast, where we are farther away from the camera now, but the lens is tighter on us. Today we want to talk about space travel. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts? Are you... Holy crap. Why have we not done this subject before? I'm so excited for I'm this. I am excited that you're excited. <laughs> I am excited. The excitement is palpable. Yes. When I was a youngin, <laughs> eight years old... I remember hearing about space missions to space, to the moon, to the ISS, people floating around in zero G. Hmm. Freaking epic to me. Going out into an unnatural landscape where the only thing keeping you alive is a suit and braving those terrifying odds. Also, what really made me want to be an astronaut is Rocket Man. You ever seen that movie? I have not. Great movie. It's a comedy. Hmm. It's not like today's comedies where it's kind of kitschy. It's like, uh, it's one of those silly, goofy comedy movies of the 90s. They don't make them anymore. Shame. Um, but in this movie, a complete imbecile with the brains to make it work without the stomach to make it work, <laughs> makes it to Mars. And it's comedic, but it's also very epic. So the point in my life that was sad and disheartening and I had to reevaluate everything I had chosen up till that point was when Barack Obama announced that NASA was no longer going to be funding space travel, space exploration, Mm. endeavors that was a sad day in my life that is sad see it's interesting that you had such this <clears throat> had such a fire for space travel because i on the other hand i thought space was cool i loved stars i had like the stars glow in the dark stars you put on your ceiling as a mm. little kid however my father when i was a young <laughs> lad uh, showed me the film um, Apollo 13, mm. which, for those of you who don't know, is a, about a real expedition called Apollo 13 that went horribly wrong um, in many ways. And after seeing that, I was terrified of space travel because I assumed the worst was always going to happen. Mm. And so for me, I was... No, that was never on the... You quit before you started uh, the job. Exactly. And now the one thing I will say that changed my mind somewhat was uh, a video game. Mm -hmm. uh, the Last of Us. Oh. Because Ellie wanted to be... An astronaut. An astronaut. I was like, eh, she's cool. <laughs> so, so, yeah. It's a redeeming quality. Yeah. She wants to be an astronaut. Intelligent. Real go getter, you know. Go getter. Yeah, I think mainly, maybe as a child, I overlooked the educational prowess that you'd have to have mm. to be on a space mission, the physical attributes you'd have to have. Also, I don't think I would fit. I think you have to be quite small to be in a spaceship mm. to fit in there. You are quite tall. I'm I'm fairly average. <laughs> The average is, I think, 5'9". Oh, so I'm above average. Impressive. That would have made it much more difficult to become an astronaut. But I feel sad sometimes that we were born in a time where space travel is no longer and uh, world travel is no longer. Well, and the sad thing is, too, is it's no longer, like, monumental. I know. Like, astronauts were heroes. I remember in first grade, we learned about Neil Armstrong mm -hmm. landing on the moon, and everyone thought he was, like, the coolest celebrity. But now, like, everyone's just like... Oh, they sent another yeah. person to the International Space Station. There's another rover. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I must say that uh, we are actually running out of time. Oh. So uh, I can't really see from back here, but thanks for watching.